Like thousands of gardeners every year, I decided to buy some ladybugs to help fight the aphid infestation in my garden. And like those thousands of gardeners, I was faced with a problem. Which company to buy from? For me, the main criterion is which company provides the, most, the greatest number of live ladybugs. I've bought some in the past, and over half of the ladybugs were uh, delivered dead. So, this year I bought ladybugs from six different companies, and I'm going to release them in my garden according to their instructions, and uh, measure the number of dead ladybugs afterwards from each package, and see who does the best. Now, as it happened, uh, I ordered uh, all of these on the same day, and they arrived two days later on the same day, by the same um, shipper. So they were treated about as equally in the shipment as possible. So if one of them is a lot better or a lot worse than the others, it's doubtful that it was because the shipping um, procedure was harsher on there or better uh, for one than the other. First up, we have Gardens Alive. Uh, their ladybugs are shipped in a tied muslin bag like this, and uh, they advertise that uh, these are called Stay Home, S-T-A Home uh, ladybugs, because they have been fed and conditioned for two weeks prior to shipment to ensure that uh, when they're released they just don't fly away, that they're ready to uh, hunt aphids and start reproducing more ladybugs. We'll see how they come out. Next, we have an Amazon offering. This company is called Nature's Good Guys, and they sell 1,500 ladybugs, which seems to be the standard size, for $11. This is the least expensive of all the ladybugs I purchased. This package of 1,500 ladybugs cost $14 and was sold by Kathy's Show Tack, tack as in equipment for horses. This jar of 1,500 ladybugs was $17 and sold by the Orcon Company, O-R-C-O-N. As with the previous two packages, it was ordered through Amazon. Oddly, the image of the package on the Amazon page for it said it was made by the Orcon Incorporated Company, but when I looked at the labeling on this jar, it said tiptopbio.com, a completely different company. Another oddity, is that all three of the last packages were ordered from different companies and yet they all arrived in a single box shipped by Nature's Good Guys. This bag of 1500 ladybugs was $19, one of the more expensive, and it's also one of the most mysterious. On Amazon it was listed as being sold by the Flora Hydroponics Company, but when I ordered it the email I got said that it was sold by the Ladybug Company and uh, when it arrived uh, the invoice stated that it was uh, sold by Northwest Beneficial, uh, Beneficial Insects Company. So I really don't know who is selling this uh, but I'll run it through the test and uh, we'll see how well it does. This bag is unlabeled but it was sold through Amazon by uh, Hertz Beneficial Bugs and it came with a small packet of uh, ladybug nectar. Uh, before you release them you're supposed to mix this with 32 ounces of water and spray the area and this provides uh, uh, some nectar for them to feed on and uh, it's supposed to encourage them to stay around. We'll see how well it works. Oh, this was um, $14 again for 1500 ladybugs. By the following morning I had expected the ladybugs to have dispersed but in fact they had formed tight clusters over the night and seemed perfectly happy to stick together possibly for warmth. After an hour in the sun these groups broke up and started happily munching on aphids. And here are the final results. In each case I've flattened out the pile so they're equally deep so that the area represents the number of dead. The more area, the greater the number of dead, the fewer live ladybugs uh, got into the garden. As you can see, the worst ones are Gardens Alive and Flora Hydroponics, which ironically are also the most expensive. These two are very close, but the good guys, which is almost as good, is the cheapest. So in the future, I think I'm going to be buying from Nature's Good Guys. I hope you found this video informative, and as always, thank you for watching.